A miracle tree that has been an important part of our daily diet for generations is now known as a superfood and is a topic of interest for research in many universities. Welcome to Seed to Life. In this video today, I'm going to share with you life's journey of one of my most favorite trees that are called as Moringa or Drumsticks tree. In recent years, along with many other phytomedicines or plant-based medicines, Moringa tree or Moringa oleifera has also become a very popular tree. Nowadays, we all feel the increasing need to protect ourselves boost our immunity and fulfill our nutritional needs from a healthy and tasty diet. There is a huge industry focused primarily on providing consumers with enticing options to reduce weight. Rather than relying on the processed products, we can get our food directly from the nature without any mediators. And trust me, it tastes way better than the powders that we get from the stores. Depending on what part of the world you are, you might know it by different names like Moringa, Drumstick Tree, Shevga, Horseradish, Shojna and many more. Moringa leaves, flowers and fruits or pods all are edible and very nutritious. Extremely rich in vitamin C and potassium, Moringa also provides calcium, protein, iron, vitamin A, magnesium and amino acids. Some studies show that it helps regulate healthy blood sugar levels. It heals the body as a result of its anti-inflammatory properties. Loaded with antioxidants and vitamins, Moringa in itself is a one-in-all multivitamin that improves the mental and cognitive functions. You would be surprised to know that some traditional branches of medicines use Moringa to manage some viral diseases like HIV, herpes simplex virus. And I can go on for a long time talking about benefits of Moringa. You can refer to the links in the description to know more interesting facts about Moringa. The journey of my Moringa tree starts here with these organic seeds. I planted these seeds three years ago and look at how much harvest I've got this year. To start the seeds, you need to soak them in water overnight and next day you can plant them in the well-draining soil or directly sow them in the ground. My seeds were started in plastic cups and then just in few weeks they were ready to move to the bigger pots. Moringa is one of the fastest growing trees. They grow around 8 feet each year. They are not at all demanding and a regular 2 to 4 inches top layer of compost is good enough to keep them growing. Once the seedlings mature, they are fine with the high temperatures about 90 degree Fahrenheit or 33 degree Fahrenheit. I have hardly seen leaves getting burned and the temperature in my zone rises to 105 to 110 degrees Fahrenheit. It also survives lower temperatures up to 60 degrees Fahrenheit or even 45 degrees Fahrenheit if they are mulched properly. The germination rates of the seeds that I planted were so good that I ended up having more than 10 seedlings. Like always, it was hard for me to pick only few of them. So even though I didn't have enough space in my yard, I ended up raising them all. And I am proud to say that all my seedlings continue to make me proud. In the first year itself, the trees grew about 6 to 8 feet tall. I had two trees in the ground. During the first winter, I dug up the one that was in the ground and brought it inside the garage. The others were already in pots, so I brought them inside the garage. That year, I left one tree in the ground and cut its main stem short. That year's winter was very harsh and the temperatures were consistently below zero. Unfortunately, I lost that tree. But I didn't give up hope. The second year again, I left one of the trees in the ground. I pruned it and wrapped it in the tarp. In addition to the mulching, I also covered it with the cardboard boxes to provide additional insulation. I was extremely worried throughout the winter. But the tree survived. After two years, it becomes really difficult to take the roots out and pull out the tree that is 12 to 15 feet tall. So it becomes necessary to take risk and keep it out during winter. Overall, if you live in cold climates, then it is difficult to keep them alive during winter, but you can always keep them potted. 
as moringas are fast growers you continuously need to prune them if you are lazy like me then you will end up having a very tall tree with only top that is full moringa leaves flowers and pods of all are edible now let's talk about the flowering moringa flowers come in clusters they are beautiful white or light yellow in color and they are edible beneficial insects like bees dragon flies help in pollination after pollination tiny pods emerge from the flowers these pods are brown or reddish in color they may appear weak and frail but soon they start growing longer and getting greener they are attached to the tree by a strong stalk first these pods grow in length and then they become thicker and the meatier finally it is time to harvest and i am going to pick drumsticks that are ready uh, also i am going to prune the branches both drumstick leaves and pods stay sweeter when they are young the leaves once they become more fibrous it is difficult to digest them even the pods are difficult to cook and they taste bitter i hope you like this video in the part 2 of the moringa video i will show you how to process the leaves and pods thank you so much for watching my video i hope you enjoyed it please subscribe to my channel seed to life for more videos and updates click on the bell icon to get notified about the new videos thank you again see you soon